The Department of Agriculture, in collaboration with the Taiwan Technical Mission, through the enhancing the efficiency of the production distribution supply chain in the fruit and vegetable sector project, also known as the Seven Crops Project, hosted a training session for a cohort of farmers on the four new varieties of lettuce being introduced to complement the three types already being grown locally. During the training, farmers were also introduced to irrigation techniques as well as other fertilizers that can be used to increase crop protection. Project coordinator of the Seven Crops Project, Adeline Yudovic, says the main objectives of the initiative are to help local farmers obtain a larger share of the market and reduce the importation of lettuce. In our different uh, interactions with the importers, the purchasers and the supermarkets, we realize that we have an issue with lettuce in St. Lucia. So under the Seven Crops Project, we are trying to evaluate and also to try out the different varieties that we pro produce best in our environment and also meet the market requirements. So right now, the concern is that the lettuce, it wilts very quickly. It doesn't stay fresh in, in the supermarket for a long time. So this is our first phase in training. So today we have training for the farmers who are producing lettuce in St. Lucia. So these farmers could see the different varieties and you get the pros and cons of each specific variety and from that the next step is going to the different markets to show them what what we can do and also how these lettuce could meet the different um, concerns that they um, identified production specialist of the seven crops project eric shen explains that new varieties of lettuce used in the trial over the last seven weeks include the green and red rapid lettuce and the green and red roman lettuce I've noticed that every time when I go to a farm and visit the farmers, the farmers are always planting the same variety, Eden and Trinity. It's all iceberg variety and farmers didn't even know they are iceberg. So we're here trying to introduce more uh, variety, new variety, like a Roman and the leafy, the real leafy variety, because farmers always think that Eden are leafy variety, which is bad for the farmers and bad for the markets. So now we, we need the trial to see the varieties chosen here is suitable for, the, for St. Lucia. So we could have a multiple, multiple uh, choice for the consumer here in the markets and then the farmers can increase their income. Local farmer Jaime Etienne says the training has been very informative and encourages local farmers to take advantage of the alternative farming methods being highlighted through the Seven Crops project. It's always good to see that we have options with regards to you know, planting and cultivating. Uh, as long as we could get the materials and um, the education behind it, yeah, farmers should really go into it and we could make a difference in terms of um, reducing our import bill because um, lettuce is one of the things that's high on our import bill. The next phase of the project will include a post-harvest handling workshop as part of an effort to enhance the shelf life of the crops being produced locally. From the communications unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anisia Antoine reporting.